India's suit designers are still keen to learn a few tips. One of Britain's top tailors from Savile Row has been invited by the Indian Master Tailors Association to pass on some of his skills. He's Andrew Rambroop and he's here in the studio with me. We'll talk to him in just a moment. I'm also joined uh, from our Delhi studios by Anupama Sachdeva from the Indian Master Tailors Association. Thanks to both of you for being here with me. Uh, let me start there in Delhi because you have sent this invitation over uh, to Andrew. Tell me why I'm absolutely baffled in a country with millions and millions of tailors. Uh, well, India is uh, now getting evolved to globalization and uh, 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 there are not enough training institutes in, in the country to be uh, able to deliver a, a high level course in suit making. Uh, when I met Andrew and uh, uh, I was completely convinced that uh, Simon Rowe Academy is one of the associate, one of the institutes which can uh, d uh, help deliver high level training courses in the country. The consumer today is actually getting evolved uh, for uh, and is uh, wanting better quality products and there are not adequate training institutes in the country and uh, uh, in fact whatever skill development is there and tailoring is very at a very very uh, low level which is only to uh, generate employment well let, and, let me bring uh, andrew and in he's I, he's sitting here with me with uh, some of his wonderful mannequins he's uh, brought in andrew you've got this uh, invitation uh, i mean before we start talking about uh, what you hope to do when you go over there i mean you've dressed some of the big, big names, haven't you? Uh, captains of industry, politicians, Hollywood uh, superstars. Just give me a few names. Well, we rather like not to disclose names, but uh, there, there are. You, you're <laughs> right. There's, there's some very high, well-known names. You, you know, we like me. this is some sort well, of tailor's code <laughs> that you can't say. We do. You know, if you <laughs> went to Harley Street, you wouldn't ask who your, who your patients were. So perhaps uh, on Savile we tend to. Tell me, what, what is it about Savile Row, the suits that are made there, uh, up and down in all of those shops, what, what is it that distinct, makes them distinct? It's the benefits of having a Savile Row tailored suit, it's the comfort you get from wearing one of our suits, the confidence you feel when you have highly well tailored garments that are cut and fitted in harmony with your body shape, for style, for elegance, and of course for comfort as I said. So you know it gives you that extra special feeling. Yes, I can see you frowning at what I'm wearing, but uh, <laughs> let's go back to Anu Palmer there in Delhi. How much resistance do you think uh, there is likely to be to, to a visit like this? Because tailors where you are, traditionally, they like to keep their skills rather secret, don't they? Uh, on the contrary, uh, uh, with Andrew's visit prior to this visit in Delhi, uh, people were very convinced of the fact that uh, a, a, a skill development of this order in the country is going to benefit the nation as, as, as a whole. Uh, and uh, uh, yes, I admit that initially there was resistance, but now we have a participation in the course from various large corporates like Raymond's and we have several designers and tailors taking part in this, in this course. How much snobbery is there still in, in, in sort of handmade suits? Isn't that what it's all about? Because if you look at uh, stuff, you get off the rail, big names, it's more or less the same, isn't it? Uh, yes. Uh, in fact, in India, we, the consumer is now evolved. We have a lot of globetrotters who are shopping abroad for, for want of uh, quality products and uh, their satisfaction not getting uh, uh, adequately addressed here. So uh, we want to target these globetrotters uh, and in fact attract tourists who actually do not view India as a great destination for tailoring, whereas India is uh, looked upon more towards uh, shopping for artisanal work but not for tailoring. Yeah. So, but I think by we've got skill, we know how to sue, and I think with the right training, we would be able to adapt. Okay, and that's where Andrew comes in. Briefly, Andrew, because we're almost out of time. Uh, I mean, I saw you flinch when I said it was just snobbery. But uh, <laughs> tell me, in terms of that Indian market, what, what, potentially, next five years, where could it be, do you think? Well, potentially, I think in the next five years, it gives tailors in India, or throughout India, actually, are, are enrolled on this course, to raise their skills to a level to appeal to an international audience. And I think that's what's important, building their export markets as well. Andrew, we have to leave it there, uh, which is a great shame, but uh, thank you for coming in. Anupam